Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, we're going to look at how to create a floating button in Avada. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. Okay, let's begin. We are sometimes asked how to create floating buttons in Avada, similar to that you see on the right hand side of the Avada pre-builds. You can easily do this with an Avada off canvas. I've imported the Avada Bed and Breakfast pre-built website here, and so let's add a floating button to this site. I'll head to Avada off canvas, and create a new off canvas here by giving it a name, and clicking on create new off canvas. This opens in the Avada builder. There is an example of floating buttons in Avada Studio you can use as a starting point, which is a floating menu, but here I will build one from scratch. So I'll cancel out of this, and add a 1-1 container, and head to the Off Canvas options. Let's start with the General tab. I'll leave it as a pop-up, and I'll set a width of 200 pixels. For my example, I will set the horizontal position to end, and the vertical position to bottom, but you can of course position it as you like. Moving to the Design tab, I will just add some border radius to this pop-up. And I'll also add some margin to move it away from the corner. 50 pixels right and bottom margin should be fine. I think I'll also add a box shadow to this off canvas, so I will set this to yes. I will add 5 pixels for both the vertical and horizontal shadow positions, and also 5 pixels blur radius. Finally, I will set the color to color 8, and add minus 50 in the alpha channel to add some transparency. Ok, that looks like it'll work. Now for a floating button, we also want it to be there all the time, and not behave like a typical pop-up. So I will go to the Overlay tab, and turn the Overlay off. On the Close tab, I will turn the Close options off as well. Animation is completely optional, but I think I'll add one here. I'll add a sliding animation, from the right, at a speed of 1 second. Moving to the Conditions tab, to enable this off canvas I will set this to Yes, and leave it on the default of Display on Entire Site. Now on the Triggers tab, to get it to load, we just need to set the trigger to On Page Load. Ok, that's it for the settings. I can leave the rules on the default settings, and I don't need to adjust anything else, so let's move to the Off Canvas content. I'll add a title element to start, and add a title here. And on the Design tab, I'll set this to Center, H2, I'll choose the Body font from the Global Typography options, and I'll set the font to 18 pixels. Ok, under this I will add a button element. I'm going to add a telephone link in the URL option, and add the number in the button text. And I'll set the alignment to center. And on the design tab, I'll just change the button size to medium. Ok, I think that will pretty much do, but I might just check the responsive options. I'll just change to the medium screen preview, and it looks good here. Now let's look at the small screen. Here I think it might work better in the center. So I will go to the Off Canvas options again, and here I will set the horizontal position to center, just on small screens. I can see it's not exactly centered here, and that will be to do with my 50 pixels right margin. So here I'll just go back to the Design tab, and also add 50 pixels left margin as well, so it stays centered on small screens. Ok, let's go back to the Desktop view, and save this work. And now let's head to the front end. Ok, our floating button slides in, and as I scroll you can see it stays in position. Yeah, that looks good. And there it is, floating buttons in Avada. You can add any content into the off canvas with this method. Here I've used a button with a telephone link, but it could be a menu, or any other content you wanted. Ok, this concludes our video on how to create a floating button in Avada. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos, and if you have any questions or need assistance, Please create a support ticket, and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.